now we can get into the training. Let me exit on this. Okay. So, first thing that I wanted to share is the board view. So, that is something that is additional to the new timeline view that Smartsheet has rolled out. So, for example, let's say we have a simple project plan. You have your columns, your tasks, who is assigned to, the status, and so on. You can basically change it to a board view, and that will show the data in a card format. It's just a nice visual way to see your data as compared to the card view. So you can track your projects, you can manage your tasks, and you can really prioritize the visual side of things when you're using the board view. And what's special about the board view, you can easily change it to basically other drop down type columns. So if you wanted to see who's assigned to what task, you can change it to the assigned to. Now, let's say if we have a status, it's easy enough to just drag and drop. And let's say a status changes to another status. Okay. What's nice about this board view is basically you can modify lanes. So let's say if I wanted to add another option, I can just add a lane and I can name it something else. So let's say I was missing pending and I can only I only noticed it when I looked at it in this card view because it's so visual. I can add it just like that. And now I have a new lane and what I can do with the new lane is I can I can add cards. So now the card re represent the task. Anything that's in your primary column. So let's say testing. I can go ahead and add that. Okay. And not only that, when I click into the details of each card, the details panel show up. What's the detail panel? They're basically all other columns that are part of this sheet. So I can add data to that as well. And of course, anything that is added here shows in the regular grid view. Okay. All I have to do is apply the changes. So I did apply. Not sure what's happening there. And the other thing about this is also there are different ways that you can look at this view. One thing is how it's displayed. You can change it to comfortable, which means that these main um, sections of each task shows up here. Okay. And just like that, you can edit the details into it. Or you can make it compact, which just means that just the task name shows up. So you have that amount of visibility into your cards. I think um, what's um, coming up as well is editing the details of these cards. So that's something that will be coming up. So it gives us that flexibility to add what you want to see in that comfortable view. Okay. We have to keep in mind that um, there are some limitations to this board view. Um, one is that you can't see hierarchy. This view, of course, is not available in reports. You can't embed this view in dashboards, and you can't um, display it on work apps. So just a few limitations that um, you will see with the board, the board's new feature, but it is a really handy tool to have for your sheet. 
Okay. Now, let's go back to Goodview. It's one of the first new features. The second new feature is the get help skill. So on the left, left side, above of help, where you can find the help articles and community, I believe, Above the help, you have you have a get help um, AI tool. So what you can ask this panel is basically any any help that you need regarding a sheet. So, for example, we have some pre-authorized um, help questions here. So one is, what plans does Smartsheet offer? So it's basically like a chatbot. And now it's just going to take some time to generate. Okay, so it gives me an answer. Smartsheet offers four plans, free, pro, business, enterprise, with prices, and so on. For more information, please visit. And that's an article. Now I can even type in ask for a formula. So let's say I wanted to, how would I, how would I count the number of status that are in progress? It's also important to have it in, um, to write the question in very simple language so that Smartsheet understands. Let's see if this works. So it's generating. I'm gonna keep an eye on any questions that come in. More questions. Okay, so in this case, it has given me article and it's telling me to go into the work insights okay now let's say i have a formula and i wanted to debug a formula now on the summary section i have this in progress okay and let's say i added an s i'm going to say Is this formula correct? To calculate the number of status that are in progress. Let's see if it picks that up. it's saying that it's correct okay now i can even ask can you provide me a template for a say ticketing system can you provide me the best template for our ticketing system. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to put in a variety of questions that you can potentially ask and see the answers that they give me. So here it says, while Smartsheet does not have a specific template for a ticketing system, it does offer a variety of templates that can be used. For instance, you could use a project task list, a team task list template, and so on. Now I want to ask it another question. I want to ask, can you give me a template from Solution Center on 
project management. It's generating. Okay, so now it says the solution center in Smartsheet offers a variety of templates. One such template is the project management office template. And it tells you the complexity of it. This is a medium complexity, allows you what the what does it do? It even has automations in the template and so on. Please visit the source. You can click into the source and it will. Take you there. Okay. And then you can quickly just use this template. So those are things that you can really play around with the um the help bot. And it's it's really designed to make your life easier without you having to go to another um tab into Google and Smartsheet help articles and so on. Okay. Now, the next thing is something that I have been really enjoying, which is the analyze data. Okay. So the analyze data is very, very cool, I would say, where I can basically ask it to make a chart for me just by words. So I don't have to put in a formula, I don't have to create um, a chart. So let's say quickly, I wanted to see, create a pie chart based on the status column. So let's say quickly you wanted to visualize the data that you have. Instead of using a metric sheet, putting in formulas, creating a chart, you can just ask the analyze data panel to create it for you. The only thing is you can't um, copy this and put it on a dashboard. So that's the only thing. This is just for the purpose of your sheet and just a quick way for you to visualize these things. Now, what if I said, create a bar chart based on the status column. Now, this same pie chart will be a bar chart. OK, same exact, same exact um, data, but just visualized in a different way. Now, let's try something else. Let's see how many tasks are in progress. Two tasks are in progress. How many people are assigned to this project? Okay. So with this one, it may be tricky because the assigned to has Joel slash Rob, Paula slash Rob. So actually, even I don't know what's going to happen here, but let's try. It may think it as one because it's not a contact list column, it's a drop down. And the reason why I used a drop down was to show it in card view. So let's see. Okay, great. 18. Now, how many phases does this project have?
you specify the criteria for a task to be considered a phase in a project? That's a great question. How would they know? So I would say a phase is apparent. I see a question here. Hi, does this new feature just apply to smart sheets with achievement integration? No, it does not. Um, this it, so right now, these features are under the beta testing. You can call it so. Whoever who is under um, a under a um, the early adopter program, you have uh, visibility to this. And um, so, for example, it's also depending on different um, plans. So for the new features, like the new board view, if you're part of the early adopter program, um, and if you are a business or enterprise, you can you have access to it. The get help, help skill is also for business and enterprise, but the analyze data skill is only for enterprise. So the one that I'm showing you right now, this one is only for enterprise customers. And um, the reason to join the early adopter program is you have benefits to um, get early access on to Smartsheet's new features before it's um, it's live. And also you will be asked to give feedback on how do you like it? Um, do you suggest anything in terms of en enhancements and so on? Sounds good. And uh, if you wanted, um, if you wanted to know how to get into the early adopter program, I can also link in the chat. Send the link in the chat. Okay, so I sent the link in the chat. No problem. Okay, so it looks like um, getting back to this question, a phase is apparent. I said that, and it says number of phases zero. So that's wrong. So maybe I have to, I have to word it differently. The phase is highlighted in green. Let's see if that picks up. I don't I don't even know. I'm sorry, but I don't have analyzed colors. Okay, okay. Um, what else can I say? The phase has the word phase in itself. So it's basically my point here is to be very simple with your language and be very clear. Because it is a bot after all. Okay, so now it comes up. Number of phases, nine. So something like that. You have to play with it and make sure you're, you are also double checking. But it's it's a really great way to analyze your data quickly. 